The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia begins 2017 in the midst of its socio-economic transformation. After a year of low oil prices, fiscal challenges, and initial implementation of reforms, with oil prices now stabilized, expected around $50 to $60 per barrel, the Kingdom's leadership can focus on continuing reformation efforts, particularly in capital investment and expenditure optimization. How will this play out for Saudi Arabia in 2017? These aims were clearly articulated with the release of the 2017 budget, the most detailed in Saudi history, serving the overarching goals of KSA's Vision 2030 plan. The Fiscal Balance Program 2020 sets the parameters to clean up the Kingdom's fiscal house and balance the budget by 2020. The announced Saudi budget for 2017 initially reflected an expansion, increasing spending 6% from last year's budget. However, as actual 2016 spending has exceeded budgeted expenditure due to delayed payments, 2017's expenditure is in fact a 2% decrease, according to ADCB. Regardless, the budget is in line with NTP 2020, as capital public spending is to rise while current spending should drop. Public revenue is to jump from 2016 about 35%, with contribution from both oil and non-oil revenue. In 2017, oil revenue is predicated on an average of $52 per barrel of Saudi exports and 10.1 million barrels per day, which will likely change in either direction due to a renewed commitment or a violation of the January OPEC agreement. Regardless, Saudi Arabia will likely focus on oil price stability rather than volume of exports, which is a challenge considering North American shale resurgence. Considering these revenue and expenditure outlooks, the smaller Saudi deficit is to be bridged through three factors. Notably, the pace of Forex drawdown has slowed and should continue to do so. Despite encouraging fiscal proposals, economic growth is expected to slow from 1.4% in 2016 or even contract at negative 0.7% in 2017, according to Semba Financial. However, most projections are around the IMF's forecast of 0.4%. Negative oil sector growth is expected to drag modest non-oil growth. While several private, non-oil sectors are poised to do well, yet depend on limited government fiscal support. The Saudi petrochemical industry will remain vital to the kingdom's non-oil economy, with chemical and plastic exports comprising a substantial 60% share of total non-oil exports. This sector is expected to lead the push away from fossil fuel reliance, at the same time, creating employment opportunities for Saudi nationals. On the international front, global competition is set to intensify, especially from the US and China, where significant rises in petrochemical capacity are expected in the next few years. As one of the reform programs, the Parallel Market Initiative will be meant to target investments in SMEs and help mature non-oil credit growth. Jadwa also attributes the FBP as means to help grow credit and encourage liquidity in 2017. However, falling liquidity in the banking sector is a major concern. Interest rate hike by U.S. Fed, forecasted decline in broad money growth to 1.5% in 2017, mean that there will be lesser credit availability in the economy. Weaker subsidy reform should help private consumption, as will moderate 2017 inflation. On the other hand, employment and wage growth looks weak for 2017. This is critical as Saudiization, a key goal in the Kingdom's reformation package, was much less than expected. 95% of new private sector jobs were for non-Saudi citizens in 2016, a record low. Outside of economic forecasts, and despite all the challenges internationally and domestically, it is clear that the Kingdom's leadership is moving forward and taking historical steps towards changing the international perception of the country. Opening cinemas, hosting concerts, and relaxing stances on women's leisure activities show a path towards social transformation. And with Sarah al Suhaimi appointed the first female head of the Saudi Stock Exchange, this shift in attitude will hopefully encourage more international participation in Saudi's economy. This may be supported by Saudi's slight improvement in the 2017 Ease of Doing Business Index, particularly in the rank for protecting minority investors. This glimpse into Saudi's 2017 projected economic performance offers a mixed bag. The economy is approaching zero growth, monthly inflation is falling, and imports are declining despite a strong real. Implementing reforms and austerity amid falling demand and stagnation will be a major challenge. The risk of an economic recession can be looming, adding to the set of challenges. Above all, global economic health, OPEC cohesion, 
stronger non-oil sectors, and Saudiization should be the key factors for growth in 2017 and will be the primary focus of the Kingdom's leadership. Overcoming these challenges will also further ensure that sorely needed reformation plans are not just announcements and documents, but actionable, impactful, and beneficial for Saudi's goals under Vision 2030.